Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with Morning Market Stir for Tuesday, June the 28th. Fallout fun was not finished yesterday. A down day after Friday, obviously. Down 1.5% across the board in the stock indexes. Down 33 in the S&P. Down 260 in the Dow Futures. And down 2% in the NASDAQ 100. Down 84 points as stocks continued to slide. The dollar firmed up. Up 120 points at 96.70, continuing to surge there. Euro currency finding a bottom yesterday at 110. 110.36 was a close, down 120. Bonds bounded up one more time, up three points at 173 for the finish. Last week's high was 174 in the 30 year, so did not make new highs, even though stock prices made new relative lows. Crude oil also seeing some pressure with that stronger dollar, down $1.30 at 3% loss yesterday, 46.35. It's been a while since $50. And lastly was gold, up only $2 on the day. Interesting action, 13.25 is a close, 13.40 was a high, but nowhere near that spike high that we saw on Friday. So after a continuation of this unwinding, where did the market stand here on Tuesday morning? A bit of a bounce back. We've got the FTSE in London up 2% and the DAX in Germany up 2% as we're seeing Europe hopefully uh, stabilize a bit here some. We also have Nike earnings after the close if you want to talk about fundamentals. But looking at the stock futures right now, we're up 25 points, one and one quarter percent in the evening S&P, up 225 in the Dow futures and up 55 in the NASDAQ 100, getting back a lot of yesterday's losses. The currencies have also reversed course here. We're at 95.99, below 96 in the dollar index, down 70 points. The euro currency right now is up 80 at 111.15, more importantly is the British pounds at 134 after the lows last week at 131. So some of the worst may be behind us. Treasuries are steady right now. Crude oil is getting back exactly what it lost yesterday. We're at 47.65, up $1.30 for a 3% gain. And last, gold down $10 at 13.15, still maintaining that 1300 pivot that's very important. So to wrap up this current action with half an hour to go before the cash stock market open, stock index futures are surging up 25 points in the S&P, up 225 in the Dow futures and up 55 in the NASDAQ 100 for a one and one quarter percent gain to kick off the morning. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.